Module 7 will discuss the process for designing shoulder pavement. On low volume roadways, where your design easel is less than 10 million, so that would be traffic level A, B, or C, you could design your shoulders using the minimum value shown in Table 5.5. A typical design would be 1.5 inches of FC 12.5 or 1 inch of FC 9.5 and optional base group 1. Remember, FC 12.5 and FC 9.5 can be considered as a structural course. These values assume that a stabilized subgrade is used in conjunction with optional base group 1. Oftentimes, the pavement evaluation process will indicate that the shoulder was stabilized during the original construction of the road, and additional stabilization is therefore not needed. However, if there is not existing stabilization under the shoulder, you will need to determine the type of materials that are in the embankment and evaluate the need for increasing the shoulder base and structural course. On higher volume type roadways, which are traffic levels D or E, a shoulder thickness design should be performed using 3% of the design easel to calculate the required structural number. The 3% is an estimate of the number of trucks that will be riding or parking on the shoulder over the design life of the pavement. Also, if the shoulders are going to be used to carry substantial amounts of traffic as part of your temporary traffic control plan, you will need to design the shoulder in the same manner as a roadway. Under severe conditions, full depth shoulders matching the thickness of the travel lane pavement may be warranted. This concludes Module 7, Shoulder Design.